Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Focus Rights Managing Director, Tony DeStalfo. Thank you all. I, I do have the eye of the tiger today. All right, welcome to Dublin, ladies and gentlemen. This is the third installment of Focus Right Europe. We are thrilled to be here. Show of hands, how many of you have been to all three? All right, we got a couple. How many of you have been to five Focus Right events? All right, start bragging. How about 10? How about 10? Here, we got a couple of 10s. Anybody 15? Oh, look at this. How many? How about 20? Nobody. All right, good. We'll stop at 15. Well, thank you all for being here. Uh, we're really excited about being in Dublin. Uh, phenomenal a venue. Uh, we've got a great lineup of speakers today. My job for this morning is to just get things started. Uh, so what I want to do is run through a couple of things. For those of you who haven't, how many first timers do we have? Never been to a Focus Right event. All right, good. We got quite a few. That's great. Welcome to the Focus Right family. Uh, you're now part of the team. Uh, you must go to all Focus Right events from this point forward. All right. So <laughs> let me give you a little uh, idea of what we're going to do this morning, or actually what we're going to do over the next couple of days. So there's there's three distinct parts to a Focus Right event. The first part is the Travel Innovation Summit, which we will do this morning, and I'll, I'll go into a lot more detail about that. A uh, second part are our solution workshops. Those will happen tomorrow morning. There are four of them. If you haven't already signed up, please do. I like to say this is where we take it from theory to practice. You really get some hands-on uh, instructions as to how to use some of the, the solutions that they'll be talking about at the showcase. So please sign up for those. And then finally, this afternoon after lunch, we will start our center stage. This is our thought leadership platform. We have a phenomenal roster of speakers. We do a combination of keynotes, uh, panels, interviews, a really a great opportunity to hear from the most influential people across the travel landscape for Europe. All right, so those are the three parts. Now the fourth and most important part is the opportunity to network. There are, and that is always, when we survey our audiences, that's always the number one thing. Networking always ends up at the top. That's because we attract a very senior and savvy audience. A lot of C-level executives, a lot of people who are influencing the travel industry. So you need to take advantage of that. Plenty of opportunity for networking while you're here. Uh, we have, uh, last count, 430 registered. Thank you all very much for coming. That's a record number for our European event. Uh, we, are, we, are, uh, have, we have representation from 34 countries. So we're pretty much around the globe now. We also have a delegation of seven from China. So thank you very much for coming so far. Uh, they're here to do business. So if you see the Chinese delegates, please seek them out. They're looking for uh, a networking opportunity. So great opportunity to network. All right, so let's get, uh, let's get started. Let's talk a little bit about uh, getting around. Uh, if you see, if you have any questions about anything that we're going to do over the next couple of days, uh, the Focus Right team is here and in force. Uh, they will either have a name badge on or one of these nice Focus Right pins right here. If you get lost, you need to see anything, do anything, you want to anything, we're here to serve. Right? We want to make your conference experience a great one. So if you have any questions at all, please seek out one of the Focus Right staff, their team, they're here to help. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Travel Innovation Summit. First of all, I'd like to thank our global sponsor for the Travel Innovation Summit. Please, a round of applause for Carlson Wagonly Travel. They have, they have graciously sponsored all of these events that we do. Let's talk a little bit about the event itself. All right, so the history. Uh, we've been doing the Travel Innovation Summit now for eight years. Uh, during that time, we've actually vetted over 500 companies, but 200 of them have actually taken the stage. We did an event last week, our first inaugural event, uh, in India, our first Asia-Pac event, we had 10 innovators on the stage. That brought us to a total of 200. We've got 12 today. That'll bring us up to 212. Now, of those 200 companies that have, that have been to the stage, 123 of them have been funded to the tune of just about $1.9 billion. And this doesn't include the Uber and the Airbnb. So these guys are, are, are people that people are recognizing that there's an opportunity. We think we're pretty good at vetting the solutions. So we think you might be seeing something impactful today on the stage. So please pay attention to those 12 innovators. Now for today, the process is pretty simple. We've got 12 innovators. They are going to get six minutes each. Once they are done with their presentation, they will move into the dragon's den. They'll sit on that chair. They'll face a team of dragons that we've assembled. They'll be given three and a half minutes to interact with the dragons. The dragons will push, they will probe, they will question, they will comment. Okay, now, once that is done, the Dragons will go off and score. What, how will the Dragons will be scoring for best innovator will be based on five criteria. The first one is their technical innovation. Second, their business model innovation. Third, their potential market impact. 
fourth their competitive advantage and then finally the ability and how well they presented uh, this afternoon now once the uh, this morning once the dragons have voted we will be awarding some prizes this afternoon right back here on center stage at 6:35. i might want to make sure that you are all here to see this uh, the awards that the dragons will be determining are two they will they will uh vote and score and the winner based on the dragon scoring will be the travel innovator of the year award uh, that award guarantees the winner a slot at our main event which will happen in los angeles in november so they get an automatic slot to our innovation summit which will happen in november the runner-up will get a ticket to the event they won't get to present but they will also get a runner-up again and that that's by the uh, judges scoring now you all can get involved so you should be paying attention you should be using the time after the sessions today to go sit and talk with the with the innovators they all, they've all got kiosks outside learn a little bit more about them because you have an opportunity to vote with the people's choice award uh, now i uh, i'm told that we had a record number of downloads on the uh, on the app this year like 76 percent or so have actually downloaded the app which is great news uh, when you're if you've downloaded the app uh, after all the presenters have finished which will be at about noon today just prior to lunch uh, you will you'll be able we will open up the voting on the app it's a pretty simple process uh, you'll just go to the tap more uh, there'll be an audio response tab and then you'll you'll see all the innovators you submit your vote your vote you're done now this is Dublin not Chicago so you'll only be able to vote once so make sure you just cast that vote but you'll be able to do that between 12 o'clock when we open the voting and four o'clock this afternoon so please make sure you cast your vote by four o'clock this afternoon.